Well, that's pretty much the rest of the game in general. But I think I've talked enough about that. Let's talk more about this map. As you can see, the Lagoos are showing almost no problems here. I mean, sure, they're getting pelted, but they've got reinforcements coming out of their woodwork. I mean, there are a few roadblocks. I mean, the cat. I mean, the cats are going to have trouble taking on taking out the generals. Weaklings, where is your general? Come on, fight, coward! I am Skrimir, general of Gallia. When you get close. Oh no! They're drawing near! We're finished! We're doomed! Please be quiet, General! You'll hurt the troops' morale! Wait, where are you going? To safety! I must get to Mugil! The beasts! The beasts wish to... CONSOME ME! <laughs> General Septimus! Cutless coward! Are you scared of these worthless subhumans? So Septimus flees and Silvano takes command because... I don't know... He has balls? The fire stages here will all will always be a problem to the ca to the lagoos, no matter who they are. Ronald, be careful there, buddy. I did a test run of this map uh, yesterday, and Ronald, oh god, he's about to transform. Crap. Hey! Hey! Go away! <laughs> I demand that my viewers rock out to this theme. The Devoted is your god and savior. Hey, coin! Ooh! Forgot to mention something about, about coins. If you use clear data, all of the coins that you had stocked up in Path of Reigns are instantly transferred over to the Grail Mercenaries Convoy at the start of Part 3, so they're not, so they're not totally gone to waste. Ninety-one evasion. Seriously, I. That's with positive biorhythm and the. That's true. That's true. That's with positive biorhythm and the. And the three authority stars. But seriously. Oh crap. This is going to suck the big one. Dead! Yeah, yeah, they got a ton of fire sages in the city. Oh, thank God. Ranulf, you better pull back. <sighs> With the left! Uh, Skirmir is pretty much one-rounding all of these enemies. No problem. He's just gonna be one-rounding enemy after enemy after enemy. Oof. And the Tigers are going to be doing massive amounts of damage anyway because they have good strength. Did he just jack... Eh, oh, whatever. He... Ralph, what are you doing?! More. Oh, crap. Anyway, that doesn't go over the enemies. Again, I, I although I probably shouldn't because most of the enemies you're going most of the enemies we're gonna be seeing throughout the rest of the game are pretty much gonna be more of the same. There's gonna be little variety in them, so pretty much you're gonna expect every map to have the same enemy. Same type of enemy. You're gonna expect every map to have at least a couple of swordmasters, a couple of halberdiers, a couple of generals, a couple of mages. And every once in a while, they'll throw in, they'll throw in a they'll throw in um a Draco a Draco Knight or a or a Paladin or something. But it's pretty much not going to be much different, so there's no point really talking about it. I guess I can show you their stats. Give you some semblance of what hard mode is like. Pew! 
Pew. Oh, and get ready here to lemo a lot in the, um, during part three. I was actually surprised. I was expecting to hear it more often in part two, but it was only displayed in like one map. Meow. Oh well, you'll be hearing dilemma a lot in part three. Oh, hey, look, Rodolfo's already at max. Good. As long as they don't attack one of the fire sages, we're, we're all we're all right and kind. Yes, Sacker, throw yourselves to these guys. Meow. Excuse me. Damn. With a left. Oh. His armor, his fur is made of heavy. Rar. Oof. Are these guys just naturally suicidal or something? Well, anyway, they've pretty much made her. Renolf dodged that one by a hair. I'm sorry. And at least he has res, so magic, magic won't bother him that badly. The one thing, the one thing that's going to bother me about this, about the beginning of this Ike solo, is the fact that there are no ranged sword users in part three. Mist aside, although it's really debatable if you're going to be using her, and as well as the fact that the threat is is only belongs only to Mist, so she doesn't count. So the fact, yeah, I could really be able to be able, really stand to be able to use a wind edge, but you don't get one, and it's going to be really apparent why you need why you need a wind edge in the next chapter. Punch! I got a spear, baby! Ugh, my punch! BAM! BAM! Christ almighty, these tigers are slow! This is gonna suck. Or, I can get in the first hit. Oh, those enemies don't move? Alright, fine with me. Make this map easier. Smack. Boop. Mm. Smack. I think I've exhausted what to talk about now. This map is pretty much almost done. Skirmir is supposed to go the other way. Kitty Cat Man! He strikes again! Rawr. Rawr. Do 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 do. I also love the Grail Mercenary sorty, mu sorty music. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's well show you what stats we were expecting here. The generals are basically souped up on defense stat, and they have retarded amounts of speed. The halberdiers are relatively fast. The main, the sages are pretty hardcore, and they have high magic, which fur which further uh, goes with correlates with the fact that power. That fire magic is the power type. Mm -hmm. That dude is a war slayer, so be careful when sending Titania and Oscar up there to kill things. Oof. 
auf. Kiri! Auf. They're going around. Rar. 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 Oh! Holy crap, Ranolf! Kitty. Mm. Kitty. Yeah, I should show you the stats of the tigers and the cats just to see how powerful they are. And how powerful these uh, NPCs are. Yeah, the tigers aren't very fast, but at least they have reliable amounts of strength and defense, so they can take at least a couple of hits. And the cats, well, they're cats. I wonder if we can get to the boss before they can. It's a race by a mile! Ike is now letting the charge! What the, what the goes are draw Neck and neck behind Ike! And the enemies are exposed while the Lagoos gain the lead, and they're off! The Lagoos are now cl clawing for blood! It's another, it's another generic tiger by the mile! Ike is now past Ike! It's going to be stabbing! Frenzy! Power! Hungry! Power first! By power first today! Rar Rar Kitty! And another cat in the range of that guy! And Ranulf is attacking another healer! The only healer in this map, actually. Could have could have bothered putting him in with a physics staff at least, but he doesn't get that. Think of that guy just has a men's staff. All right, here's the boss, Silvano. He's a sniper. He has a crossbow. He drops the crossbow. Although odds are for this, <laughs> for this, it, it's highly unlikely that I'll, that you'll get will get to him before you even. For they, for these guys do. And Ike is caught up. Oh, oh the Lagoos are blocking his path. What an unfortunate twist of fate. Looks like I won't be getting the glory this time around, folks. What a shame. Dead. Dead again. But now Ike is right by his face! Wait, there are Bjork among them? Why would Bjork fight alongside subhumans? And he says this while attacking Skrimir. Sense does this make? With a left! Tink! And another left! Subhumans, you dare to fight Pegneon? There's not for you now. This will be your end. Mark my words. Again. Whoop. All the enemies are gone. Skrimir, you can now seize. We win!